Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Welcome to my abuela's kitchen. Today's recipe is super fun, super easy. It's for the entire family to be involved in, especially now during the summer that the kids are home. You want to keep them busy so they stay out of your hair. This is a recipe to make a few ingredients and super, super easy. Here's my abuela to tell you the ingredients. Estas son una cosa muy facilita para que los niños jueguen. Se ocupa nomás harina, espalda, azúcar y manteca y agua y los de estos para hacerlo. Ok, abuela, pues ¿qué es el primer paso? Primero la harina. ¿Cuántas copas de harina le echaste? Tú le echaste siete copas de harina. Alright, so we have seven cups of flour in one of these bowls. Ya esto sí se le pone bastante. ¿Cómo cuánto le echaste ahí? Ok, so baking powder, or no, this isn't, yeah, it's baking powder. So she put two hefty pinches so far. Dos puñitos y medio. Ok, two and a half have a few pinches. And so she just threw it in there and now she's just mixing it up. <laughs> Alright, three healthy pinches of uh, baking powder. Okay, so now you just mix it together. Obviously dry ingredients go first. Alright, so now we put water. The water should be lukewarm, not cold, because you want it to soften up. You should have the same consistency of the tortillas de harina. So now you just mix it, kind of feel it out. Do you get all of the dry flour in here? So you just keep mixing it, adding water. See how the harina is kind of gooey? That means we put too much um, water in it. So what we're going to do is add more flour into it. And we're going to take it actually out of the the bucket so we can knead it on here. Now you need a little muscle here, so I'm doing this today. Ahora si ya se siente mejor. See how it's not sticky to my fingers as much? That means the masa is masa. I keep calling it masa, but it's really the dough. It's almost done. All right, see, it's not sticking to my hand, just this part because I didn't get it in there. But now it's good. Not and this is time. making me sweat. Yeah, abuela? Dale. Oh, I need an assistant. Oh, see? Oh, okay. Let me try. Oh, yeah, she's the one with the muscles here. I'm breaking out of sweat, people. Anybody else want to try this? We have a massive audience today. All right, we got a volunteer. You don't pull it apart. You hold it here and then you go down. That's okay. All right, so this is how you get your kids involved. A uh, nice summer project, making bread together. If you get impatient like I do, then you can just send them away and get the adult to do it. All right, thank you, Tutu. That's my daughter. Her name is Tutu. Actually, that's not her real name, but that's her nickname. Yeah, you can come back. Oh, another volunteer. All right, let's get down over here. All right, so you have to keep kneading it till it's a little elastic -y. I know that's kind of a weird terminology, but that's the best way to describe it. Just, it just kind of stretches back into it. So here's the other volunteer. Let's see how much muscle he has. Here's my son. His name is Coco. Hard. There, you got it. All right, so what my mother did right now is she rubbed some uh, manteca on her hands, and now she's kneading it. Okay. Just to soften it up a little more, that's really the reason why she's doing the uh, manteca. So, ¿me hecho manteca o así está bien? Casi, ya no me voy a levantar. So, ¿qué tan grande hacemos las bolitas? ¿Qué tamaño se la van a hacer? ¿Así? ¿O más grande? ¿Así? ¿Así? Ok. A ver, ¿qué tan? 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 A ver, ¿qué tan?
bless it on the morning. Okay. So she's got to kind of give it a test run here to see if she can. Little um, balls are big enough. All right. So if you notice, it's a little smaller than the palm of my hand. And uh, I'm actually 6'11. Just kidding. I'm 5'1. But uh, so this is a size. This is what, how we're going to make them. So we're going to make all of these out of this dough right here. So the next step here is to um, rub them with manteca, just like tortillas de harina. So here we go. Lotion up. And just, you know, give them a nice little rub. And, oh, okay, so make sure they're like super emantecados. So they don't stick to each other in the pan in the little tub here. She's a pro. Ya es una experta, ¿verdad, mamá? Pues mira, vas con cinco y otras. Te echo una. All right, so here it is, and we'll be right back with the next step. All right, guys, so after the 20 minutes, it's ready, and we can begin making our creations. And here is what we're going to do. So you're going to get one of these. A ver, abuela, me vas a enseñar porque yo no sé qué es lo que voy a hacer aquí. Okay, so first you kind of roll it up into a little tube cylinder. Pues lo que sea. Alright, so I guess you roll it out. No, 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 little guy. So this is a fun part where you bring in the kids. But let me show you first. Okay, so not too thick because you're going to be frying these. So she's just cutting the uh, legs out. I'm not an artist, people, so please excuse the way I make these. So I just cut it, some legs out. She's laughing at me. Alright, here's my legs. Not mine, but... Yeah, no me, no me enseñaste. So now I'm just cutting out, oops, little pieces and we're gonna make arms, stretch it out. ¿Dónde agarraste para los ojos? So just cut little pieces out. And make your own guy. Mine's a gangsta. Which one do you like better, hers or mine? ¿Cuál les gusta mejor el mío? Miren, you can turn mine into a Pac-Man. ¿Cuál les gusta mejor el mío o el de ella? Alright, so here's a guy, but she also likes to make little caballitos, little horses. A ver, enseñanos cómo hacer un caballito. Alright, so same method, roll it out to a little cylinder tube, whatever. Okay, so now we roll it out. Not too skinny. Oh, this is a version of a horse. So you kind of make a U. No, that's the one See? Okay. And then you just kind of slit it right here. Just lift it up. I mean, you know, just use your imagination. This is supposed to be a little horse here. Here are the legs. And here's the eyeball. This is a horse, okay, people? Use your imagination. Or you can make it into a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly to me. También puede ser mariposa, ¿verdad? All right. And that's it, guys, for now. This is, you do it all. Make your own creation. I don't care what you do. A ver, ¿cuál mona? No, es amor. Oh. Es complemento, pero en Okay. So now she's going to try making a doll. Y si, son las bolas, ¿no? paso es calentar la manteca y empezar a echar los monos. 
All right, so the next step is make sure your pan is nice and heated. You can use manteca or oil, just depending on what you want. And um, you're gonna fry them, of course. Now, don't have the kids do the frying unless they're like teens and they know what they're doing. So they can continue doing their little creative artwork over here while the adult does the frying. As you can tell, they fluff out. That's why you have to make sure when you roll it out, they're not too thick. See how thin they are right here? All right, so before you even uh, start frying, make sure you have uh, what you need ready. You're gonna need some sugar in a plate, and you're gonna need another plate so you can put them after you sugar them up. So here's the first one. Just make sure they have sugar on both sides. Sprinkle it on top, roll it over, sunbathe it, and there you have it. Easy as that. Don't they look good, nice and fresh? Alright guys, here you have it, a nice easy recipe. She calls it espontos, a name she came up with herself. And you know, it's just fried bread, real simple, easy recipe. You can try these with your kids when they have nothing to do. Um, and there you have it. Abuela, unas palabras de esta receta. She's busy right now eating, so no te preocupes. Sigue comiendo, abuela. Alright, so remember, subscribe to our channel. Uh, Instagram, Abuela's Kitchen, subscribe to that as well. <laughs> so this is Doña Serafina right here. Oh, no, no usted, Señora Serafina. Otra, otra, okay? Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our Instagram, uh, or any social media network in, near you. All right, God bless everyone. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Adios, amigos.